sort of creative writing advice with me, JJ Barnes. If you don't know me, I'm the author of How to Write Your Story, which is out now on Amazon. I take you from the beginning of your story all the way through to the end and everything in between. My goal with my, my, both my book and this YouTube channel is to give you the confidence you need to get your story out into the world. I cover tips, tricks, techniques, general advice, anything I can. I try to make it as accessible as possible so you can use it in your own story. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to live through your characters and why it matters. So when you write characters, obviously they are creations of your mind. They are not real people. But a really important part of storytelling is to make them feel real. Because if your characters feel fake to your audience, they're going to have a disconnect with them. Because you cannot truly emotionally invest in somebody who isn't real. Because it doesn't matter. What happened to them ultimately doesn't matter because it's just a story. So you have to do something to kind of con your audience into feeling like these characters that only exist because you created them, you wrote them, are genuine real people to be worried about, to, to have feelings for, to emotionally invest in as if they're real human beings. And a way of doing that is to live through them. This means you put, essentially, you put a little bit of yourself into every single character, even the bad ones. Because if you can breathe yourself into them, put your own life essence into them, they're going to have the humanity they need that makes your audience feel like they're real. So you don't have to have lived every experience you put your characters in, like You've never been, say, um, you ne might never have sung on a stage, right? You've, you've never done that. You're a writer. You are not a performer. You've never sung on stage, but you are writing a story about a woman who wants to sing on a stage and she's scared. And the story is her, think of Coyote Ugly. I mean, it's, I don't know if you're old enough to have watched that movie. I might be showing my age. But basically in Coyote Ugly, she is a singer songwriter, but she's scared of performing. And through the story, you see her building up in confidence and courage and ability to eventually singing on a stage. And even if you've never done that yourself, you can connect with the experience of being scared. You can think about yourself, the feelings you would feel if you had to do that. Face those fears, because for me, I have never sung on a stage other than once getting drunk in Spain and doing karaoke because I have incredible performance anxiety. Now I know I'm here doing these YouTube videos all the time, right? So you might be thinking, no, you don't, you're always on camera. You're always talking to people. Look at you right now, right? I get it, but this is a camera. This is not a crowd of people. If you tried to put me up on a stage in front of a crowd of people, this would not be the calm person that you see. Trust me. So even though I've never tried to make myself sing on a stage, I can bring those fears and live them through that character and then imagine the triumph I feel when I have done something that I am scared of, when I have experienced something challenging and overcome it, even not singing on a stage, anything, and put those emotions into that character at the end. because. We all have emotions, you know, we all feel things and they might not be identical, identical to what your characters are feeling, but they come from somewhere. And if you live your experiences into your character, so your bad characters, you might think, I've never wanted to kill. I've never wanted to do anything evil. For instance, I wrote a character who butchers mermaids. In Lily Prosper and the Mermaid's Curse character, his job, his career, his passion, is dragging mermaids out of the ocean and then chopping them up. I have never, I, I'm vegetarian, I don't even eat chickens, you know what I mean? I am not doing this. But I have had a goal, and I have had a job that some people don't approve of. Trust me, if you try being a writer in a family of scientists, right? I have been driven to accomplish something that not everybody approves of. And when you start building back from why they want to do that particular goal, for that character, he can morally justify it by the fact that those mermaid body parts are used in magical cures for diseases and ailments and saving lives. 
I am I care about that. I care about saving lives. I can understand that emotion and I can put my desire to save lives at the base of what he's doing. Even if what he's doing is something that is morally reprehensible and it has grown from a good, you know, a, a morally pure thing and it has grown upwards into something terrible, that nugget at the base of what he's doing is true. Saving lives is a good thing. Doing what you can to save people's lives is a good thing. Doesn't mean that what he's doing because of it is right. But I can emotionally connect with that core goal. And I can put my life and my beliefs into why that is a good core goal into him. By doing this, by finding yourself in every single character in different ways, you shouldn't all be you, like make sure they're all distinct and unique people with distinct and unique goals and motivations, of course, but put a little bit of your core understanding of yourself into all of them. Your characters are going to feel alive. You're, you're making real people because you're making them from yourself. And you, the creator, you are very much alive and you are interesting and deep and rich and you have emotions and you have conflicting goals within you. You have challenges that you have overcome. You have fears. And those things that you deal with every single day and you are processing every single day and trying to be better than every single day, they're real. And by giving them to your characters, the actual emotional responses that you have to things, the actual fears that you have to overcome, it makes your characters real. And it can be incredibly cathartic if you make your characters do something that you have always been too scared to do. And you're like, no, I'm going to make them face it. And you write it. And if you write it so much that you feel it, it's like you're exercising something from yourself. You're you're making them confront an abusive husband. You're making them stand up in front of a crowd and speak. You're making them do something that you've always wanted to be able to do, but never did. And you're putting those words then into the world, your own words that you never got to say, you never got to live, but you're putting them out into the world and you get to then do it. It gets to be real. And that is an incredible thing to do. So when you're writing your characters, think about what they want and why. And then ask yourself how you have felt in circumstances either similar or completely different, but with a core goal of motivation that's the same. Think about how you have felt. Dig that out of yourself. And while you're writing those characters, put those feelings, those hopes, dreams, fears, emotions, pain, into those characters, how they respond, what they say. Live your life into those people and they will then feel like they are alive. If you write them flat and you don't try and put your emotion into them, you just sort of be like, oh, I think people might feel this. It doesn't feel as alive because it's not a truth. It's not your truth. And as the writer, your truth is the, is the key to making your story feel so good because it's you, it's your brain, it's your story, it's your narrative that people are coming to your story for. You are the writer, so give that to them by putting you into everything in your story. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you go to my website, which is jjbarnes.co.uk, over there you'll find links to all of my work. There's also my blog. And um, if you are a writer and you've got books out, I'm doing author interviews and maybe we could chat to each other because I think that writers, even though we're all learning all the time and I count myself in that, even though I'm doing these videos, I'm still learning all the time. Um, we can share our own experiences of writing and inspire other people too. So come and check that out. And if you subscribe to these videos, I put out a video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I cover different kinds of writing advice. I just, a lot of the time, I'm just talking you through how to write confidently. Because if you are confident enough to be like, yeah, I am going to put myself into these characters. I am going to live my own experiences through them your story will benefit from it but sometimes i feel like we can be held back like oh i'm not interesting enough or i'm not sure that i 
have a voice that's worth hearing. I, I, I want to make fake people because I'm dull. And really, you're not because you're human. And humans are fascinating and full of feelings and emotions and pains. So we just have to explore those. Um, what else do I need to say? Oh, drop a comment on here. Talk to me about your writing. How do you breathe your life into your characters? How do you live through these people that you are creating? What is your process? Because I'd love to hear all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will be back again soon. Bye.